A southwest side creeper hears his punishment tonight, decades behind bars. And once his sentence came down, one of his young victims is no longer afraid to speak her mind. New at 5, ABC 6's Lisa Rontala has the story from Lincoln Village. Lisa? That young teen and her mother wrote out statements they wanted to read in court today. The young girl was one of five victims in this neighborhood last fall. Now, the suspect, he lives a stone's throw from here. He walked into this neighborhood, broke into little girls' bedrooms, and touched them while they were sleeping. I, I can just imagine what she goes through mentally uh, thinking about that night. Since last September, 15-year-old Dorothy Holbrook has done her own hard time. I felt like maybe I did something to want him to come. The young teen faulted herself for this stranger, Taylor Wise, breaking into her home and violating her in her bedroom. She had no idea he was also linked to groping more girls in their bedrooms the following weeks. And the thought of her trying to take her own life and having to be hospitalized on suicide watch was unbearable. You know, sometimes you feel really depressed because you feel like, you know, you're all alone and you don't really have anyone. But seven months Where later, he? um, he's a German Shepherd mix. Her dog Duke gives her the confidence to sleep back in her bedroom. Her family and friend support only encourages her to want to give back. He's there for me all the time. <laughs> And now that he's starting his own 25 years in prison, she's leaving her sentence behind. For people that are young, you know, you have a lot to live for and you can make something out of yourself. The Holbrooks were unable to make it to sentencing today, but they tell me they wanted to see Taylor Wise. They wanted to see his face. They wanted to see if he was remorseful. I asked the prosecutor if he made any statements in court today. She tells me he did not apologize. Reporting live, Lisa Rontala, ABC 6 News.